So here's a fun story from another uh, apocalypse universe that I play around in. This is my zombie apocalypse. And this was inspired by a a book, or not really a book, more like a set of stories that I read called The Silo Stories. And this was sort of a user-created universe where humans only lived in these tall, cylindric silos in the earth. They couldn't go outside because the air was poison. And there was different, you know, it was like, um, I don't know, Snowpiercer, right? There was different communities as you went up and down the silo. So what I did is I thought about that. And I thought about in the zombie apocalypse, there would probably be communities that had to be connected. And so I wrote a story around that concept. And for lack of a better title, I called it Zombie Apocalypse 300. I don't know. I was probably thinking about uh, the movie 300. And this is Act 1. And it's really cruel because I wrote this story with a cliffhanger and never wrote another one after it. So I apologize in advance. Here we go. Zombie Apocalypse 300, Act 1. In the darkness, the metal of wrecked and shattered cars glinted in his peripheral vision as the car headlights danced past them. They had worked over the months to clear this lane by pushing the abandoned hulks off to the side. He still had to fight the normal reaction of his brain to start at the glimpse of these automotive ghosts lurking and inert crowded against the side of his open lane. One had to drive with faith that one lane was still clear. The tires hummed on the asphalt. A strong smell of hot rock and dirt came through the window like the center of some ancient forge. The autumn moon hung full in ochre just above the naked trees. It was the harvest moon, partially obscured by stringy clouds like something from the Halloween cards of old. He scrunched forward in the seat, pulling himself forward with the steering wheel, shimming his shoulders to loosen his neck. The landscape rushed by. He'd gotten used to and even started looking forward to his weekly run between the survivor outposts. Something routine and constructive to measure the days of the apocalypse. The camp engineers, not much more than handymen and auto mechanics really, had welded and bolted a pipe-framed cow-catcher of sorts to fend off collisions of a non-lethal sort. The occasional deer or stray, but mostly the staggering undead. It was like something in the old movies he'd watched as a kid. They'd tumble dumbly with hollow eyes into the onrushing vehicle. His cage would catch them, and with a surprisingly violent chunk that would shudder through the frame of the truck, the splintered, gaping form would pinwheel, sometimes in pieces, up into the air and off the road. He didn't like these encounters, but he knew he had to tough it out and keep going, if he wanted to make it to Camp B alive in the morning. He had to hang tough if he wanted to survive, and he always survived. He sees them stumble out of the mist from the side and resists the urge to swerve. One catches low under the guard pipes and drags on the driver's side, catching weirdly in the front wheel and causing the truck to pull hard left. Standing on the brakes and fighting the wheel, the other catches the side of the cage on the right and slingshots through the passenger windshield with a horrifying crunch. Trapped half in and half out, the thing with the great flaps of gory skin hanging snaps at him as he loses control and the truck digs into the shoulder. The world turns in sickly slow motion as the truck flips. He doesn't know how many times down the guardrail and across the median coming to a wrecked and rocking stop against a ruined tractor-trailer. He blacks out. You know, only 483 words, I know. It's just a bite-sized thought there, isn't it? So, at some point, I will start a series around my zombie apocalypse, but it's, it's so 
Um, the zombie genre now is so overloaded and done. Even if you're having fun with it, it's just too crowded. I actually was looking at one of the science fiction magazines and their article submission guidelines start off with, don't send us any zombie stories. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that. Bye. Thank you.